Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a great time at PromCon North America 2021 and at KubeCon and all the other co-located events for this year's flagship CNCF event. Hi, I'm Shivai Lamba and I'm going to be giving a lightning talk on machine learning observability with Prometheus. A very quick introduction about myself. I am Shivai. I'm a contributor and a meshmate at Layer 5, which is an open source organization part of the uh, CNCF landscape with its products like Meshery and the SMI uh, code informants, and it is all about service meshes. And I've been also a Google Center of Code specifically for service meshes under CNCF. First, let's talk about the machine learning life cycle. So whenever we talk about any kind of a machine learning algorithm, we always start with the model building through which once we have built the model, we undergo the evaluation and basically the training of our model. And we do experimentation with all the different kind of um, our, with the model to whether it's see whether it's uh, a good model or not. Once we have been consent with or we're content with the model evaluation, we productionize the model and then we put it to testing to see whether the model is giving us good accuracy or not. And once uh, we are able to test it out completely, then we'll go ahead and actually go ahead and deploy the machine learning model. And once the model is under deployment and has been used for production use, we will continue, we'll set up a pipeline through which we'll be able to actually monitor and observe our machine learning model. And that is what we're going to be talking about today is specifically what exactly is observability and how can we do that for our machine learning models. Now, evaluating the metrics of machine learning system is really important for research and even for production as well, because once the machine learning model has been deployed into production, it is also really critical to see how is the machine learning performing at all times, because having ob great observability practices is needed to ensure a uh, a smooth running of our machine learning model and the machine learning metrics through which on the, on the basis of which we can evaluate the performance of our model can be interface based which could include latency model based which could include the performance of the machine learning model or even infrastructure based that includes the cpu utilization now some of the other metrics that we need to also keep in mind include the latency whenever there is some kind of a uh, ml based or machine learning based api that has been called then how much amount of cpu bandwidth memory bandwidth is actually being used uh, when performing any kind of a prediction how much amount of disk utilization is actually being used if it is applicable then what are the prediction values and how do they change over a given time frame what are the minimum and maximum prediction values that are actually going and we are getting let's say what is the standard division that we get over a period of time and also like let's say the changes to the statistical distribution of all the predicted values all of these need to be measured in order to maintain the observability of a machine learning model and how can we do that we can do that with the help of prometheus now prometheus helps to basically scrape uh, data or metrics from instrumented jobs either directly or indirectly as well um, with the help of uh, short-lived jobs now it is able it is capable of actually storing all these script samples locally and runs uh, rules over this data to either let's say aggregate or record even new data uh, from the existing data or to help generate alerts and one of the most uh, popular uh, stacks to actually use for monitoring the metrics is the uh, combination of prometheus that actually helps to measure the metrics and grafana that helps to actually create alerts so from this diagram, as you can see that within a Prometheus server, we are pulling in the metrics, we are uh, evaluating those metrics, and then let's say if those metrics are uh, concerned, we can actually create alerts, relevant alerts, so that we can be notified if certain metrics are falling behind. And this diagram sort of shows you an example of that, where we are basically creating a dashboard in Grafana, but we are actually going ahead and uh, looking at all the different metrics. Uh, we are sort of evaluating the metrics and fetching the metrics. Uh, for example, this particular example showcases an example of the average house price uh, prediction, and we are evaluating all of that, and all these metrics are getting measured with the help of Prometheus. And alerts can be generated with the help of Grafana. So that's pretty much it for this lightning talk. Uh, I hope if you have liked this presentation, reach out to me on Twitter and on my GitHub. Uh, the main idea again behind Prometheus is to be able to monitor and machine learning models which are in production and deployed need to be monitored. And Prometheus can play an important role in monitoring the different kinds of metrics on the basis of which we want to judge the performance of our machine learning model. With that in mind, 
Thank you so much for watching this lightning talk and I hope to see you uh, soon in a CubeCon.